we get in here, pull everything out. Look how amazing this is. Wow, and this is one. Oh. 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 What's up everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from Miami, Florida, my hometown. Today I'm super pumped because I'm gonna be eating some amazing seafood at the Cajun Boil. If you guys don't know about this restaurant, it's one of the best seafood joints in all of Dade County. There's actually three locations. I'm here at the Brickell Financial District area. So they're masters at preparing succulent premium quality seafood that has traditional tangy and spicy Cajun flavors and an unexpected Asian twist. It was opened by Chef Yu and her husband, Dr. Lee. If you love good seafood, they have it all. Jumbo shrimp, Alaskan king crab legs, lobster tails, fried oysters, soft shell crab, po' boys, Dungeness crab, seafood gumbo, raw oysters, mussels, crawfish, and so much more. Are you guys pumped? Are you excited? Let's go inside Cajun Boil and eat some delicious seafood. Oh, I cannot wait. And this is the Cajun Boil. I love this restaurant. Super spacious over here. Cajun Boil from the sea into the fire. Really, really nice. So all the tables are like, you know, like marble top, right? Same thing with the bar area, really, really cool bar. So we have wine, we have beer, we have a lot of craft beer on draft, really good stuff. And over here, if you keep walking, got a massive table, so it's for like a big party, like, you know, 15 people. Then you have to the right, you have different sections. They're all booths, I love it. There's booths over here, over here more tables. We have some TVs, if you wanna watch some TV. But my favorite part about the restaurant is the art. So we have the octopus here, beautiful purple octopus, like graffiti, really nice. And then over here we have lobster, crab, shrimp. The three succulent, uh, amazing seafood things I love. I, I, I'm a crab guy all day. And now we're gonna go into the kitchen and we're gonna see how they make a few different dishes. Oh, I can't wait. It's gonna be amazing, huge feast today, guys. And here we go, the kitchen. Let's see them make some seafood. Woo, shrimp, crabs. Wow, hello, hello. It's amazing. Jay. Head chef? Okay, thank you, thank you. So there's the head chef, Jay, and he's opening the oysters. So we're gonna do some charbroiled oysters. Oh, I cannot wait. Spicy, right? Spicy? Uh, you can try the spicy or no spicy. Okay. Okay. So right here, we're doing the soft shell crab po' boy. So we have the bread. She's putting some like, I don't know if it's butter with some herbs. Spicy soft shell crab, tomato, lettuce, and? and uh, spicy tartar sauce. And right here, as you can see the soft shell crab, the entire soft shell crab is being fried. Oh, I cannot wait. It's gonna be crunchy, it's gonna be spicy. It's gonna have everything you want in Cajun. Yeah, alligator bite. What? And by the way, here at the Cajun Boy, they also have alligators and frog legs, right? Yeah. So they have that South Florida twist. You know, some people don't like it, I love it. Okay, this is combo number six. They come with shrimp and there's a bag of crab. And then we have the lobster tail here and snow crab for the combo number six. So they have a ton of appetizers, lots of entrees, but they have these like combos, amazing combos. So you get different seafood. So we have mussel, shrimp, lobster, and crab in this one. And it also comes with potatoes and corn. That's blue crab fried rice. So this is blue crab that has been frozen. Yeah. It's super fresh though. Super fresh though. You got the rice, uh -huh. you have butter on top, yes. and that's gonna be blue crab fried rice. I've never had this before. This char boiled oyster looks phenomenal and it smells incredible. Wow, what is that? Just a lot of garlic. I yes, smell garlic. Like a butter, uh, herbs, garlic, and later we're gonna add the Parmesan cheese and the bread crumb. Okay, it's ready. This take like around like three minutes because we have the still wood in the wok to cook with the sauce. So we have two different types of sauce. We have garlic butter and then we have Cajun sauce. So today, your order is Ottoman. Ottoman means like they both mix together. And then you can eat spicy up on fire. Yeah. Uh, wow, this is gonna be good. I love it. Mixing both sauces is gonna be on fire. Woo! Okay. That's the spicy powder. Par Parmesan cheese. Uh, bread, bread crumb. This is the last step. And that's it basically. He mixed the sauces, he heated it up. The, all the mussels and the shrimp were all steamed. I mean, it looks hot. 
Yeah. It looks really hot. <laughs> yeah, like okay. super. Last step. Okay, right now we start with this blue crab fried rice. We need to put lala egg in the rice so they can lay the egg cup over the rice together to make the rice look like golden. Yeah, it's also gonna be a good, a good, uh, like, I guess, a uh, glue for the crab to mix in, right? The chunks. Then we put some homemade seasoning. If the fried rice wasn't cooked on a wok, it's not fried rice. Then we put some green onion. Yes, yeah, son. Thank you. Thank you, you. So what are we missing? Just the alligator bites, which are right here? Wow. It's just frying alligators. All right, we saw how they made so many different things. This is my feast right here. This is crazy. Crazy feast, dude. Crazy. Thanks. All right, guys, this is our feast. We have one, two, three, four, five different things, but this one, the giant one, number six, has snow crab, lobster, mussels, shrimp, potatoes, and carrot. When I say carrot, corn, <laughs> corn, corn, and then over here we have blue crab po' boy. I love this. It's from Louisiana, obviously a po' boy. Nice huge sandwich. You got tomatoes, lettuce. You have incredible crispy, super fried. So soft shell crab. It's amazing. Over here we have charboiled oysters. This looks like the best. Here, this is blue crab fried rice. Right, sorry, because so many different crabs. I'm getting confused here. And then we have the alligator bites. Now these are. My favorites. Look at this. You only get it here in South Florida. Mm-hmm. Tastes like chicken. So I have two different sauces for the alligator bites. And if you guys aren't from South Florida, probably haven't heard, but down here we have the swamps, we have the Everglades, we have gators, and we have frog legs. Mm-hmm. Mm. The second sauce, spicy. Wow, this is good. I'm gonna mix these two. Mmm. Perfect tender. I mean, if you didn't know there was alligator, you would think it's um, almost like veal. But it's actually softer than veal, so like way more buttery tenderness. One more, one more. Mmm, delicacy. Blue crab fried rice. Never had this before. I've had a lot of different fried rices. Chicken, veg, egg, etc., but never with blue crab. I love the process, so this is super fresh blue crab. It was frozen last night. Today we're eating it, and here it is. Today it's awesome. I'm doing like a mukbang. I'm alone, I'm eating delicious food. Always be grateful. Mm. This is basically like a Chinese fried rice with delicious tender crab. Mmm. Oh my God. The rice, the egg, the way it's mixed together. Mm. I love it because the blue crab like broke off in pieces all throughout, so it's really blended well. Oh wow, this is fire. Mm-hmm. I love it. Is there any sauce for this? Again, the owners are Chinese, so they bring that Chinese influence to all their dishes. This fried rice is super special. Mmm, I'm gonna keep going. Mm-hmm. Crystal, Louisiana, you gotta have some crystal sauce. A little spicy. So pe people, you know, people battle it between Tabasco and Crystal. I'm a Tabasco guy. <laughs> Just because I, I also went there, so. Mmm. Oh, good. Mm-hmm. So you add that Cajun flair to it right there. So I'm gonna put some of this sauce here, a little bit. This is more like a like a sweet and sour. Mm-hmm. See, sweet and sour and spicy. Mmm. I'm gonna rank this as one of my favorite fried rices of all time. I've been a lot of fried rice. But now we move on to the big, big boy. Well, not the big, big boy, but one of my favorites. So charboiled oysters, loved it. Look at this, so Parmesan cheese, breadcrumbs. I gotta get all that. Oh. Oh. 
this is a delicacy. This is like for me, the best. I love oysters. I love mussels. With charcoal oysters, mmm, garlic, breadcrumbs, parmesan. So you have a nice cheese and it's crispy. If you want to be adventurous and you want to add that Cajun flair, whew, right there. You can eat it with a fork, but it's like everything. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, miss all those breadcrumbs. So much. Hey guys, I have to add some of this sweet and sour. Just a little bit. Oh, look at this. My last one. I'm not gonna be able to finish anything. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dog came inside. Mmm. Mmm. Sweet and sour mixed. The oyster. Wow. All right. Next up, we have this bad boy. Look at this. Soft shell crab po' boy. First time trying this. So how do you eat this? Just like this. Mmm. Crab. Deep fried. Instead it's hot sauce, but you know what? I'm gonna put some of the sweet and sour in there. So when you come to the Cajun boil, you guys already know, Louisiana flair, nice and spicy. Mm. Sorry, I didn't wanna eat too much of the bread, I still have that huge dish left, so I'm gonna eat the soft shell crab. Mm. So crunchy, mushy, wow. I love sausage crumb. I usually get it when I go to a Japanese restaurant. You get like a little thing of it, eat it just like that, straight. And now, the main event. So for this dish, you have to get a little messy, right? So I got my bib. Oh, so bib, I have plastic gloves. So this is gonna be an all out mukbang. Let's, let's see of how dirty I get. So. I'm going on a Mission Impossible here. <laughs> so how do I start? Straight crab or go in for this? Oh, that's your favorite? And this is just lobster? Lobster tail? No, I know, I'm sorry, because I saw, I saw some huge prawns in there. I thought it was a prawn for a second. Woo! Look at that, I'm gonna dip it in. Mmm. Oh wow, not too spicy. I think it's starting to hit me now. Yeah, medium spicy, I was gonna say. All right. Well, tender lobster. Mmm, the sauce is like, it's a little thick. Almost like a paste. Oh my God. That is hot. Oh, that is really hot, my friend. Oh. No, it's medium, I know, but it's hot. I mean, the thing is that in China and Thailand and all these places, you say medium and it's like still spicy. I'm gonna just dip this in here. Mmm. Delicious shrimp. Now I'm going into the mussels. Oh, this is a fun experience. Mmm. Fun and spicy. Oh yeah. So this is what you need to crack these legs. Oh my God. So first you gotta break one. I actually like getting in here into the muscle. Mm-hmm. Pull some of it out, but then you have to break. Oh. Yeah. So this is snow crab. Yeah, so this is from Alaska. This is one of the hardest uh, you know, crabs to get because they go out there, these guys on like dangerous catch, right? Most dangerous catch. So we get in here, pull everything out. Look how amazing this is. Wow, and this is one. Oh, oh, oh. Definitely need to clean my eye. <laughs> okay. Mm. Don't worry, I go to the bathroom after. It is great. Oh, it even hits you now. Mmm. <laughs> oh, amazing. And you have on the outside some of the sauce. Oh my God. I'm so sucking it. This is phenomenal. I'm gonna go for something easy this time. Another piece of the lobster tail. Now we're getting messy. 
Mmm. Just put it in. Put the lobster into the sauce. Mm-hmm. Oh, the lobster's the best. It's the meatiest. Ooh. So let's try this again to my friend that's snow crab here. Amazing Alaskan stone crab. So best thing to do is go in there. Mm-hmm. You know a little shell? Mmm. So so much meat. I don't worry too much about about the shell. Oh man. Here in Miami, it's not so easy to get snow crab. That's something it's more of a, you know a limited item. But obviously, mmm. Because it's coming from Alaska, but here they had it. They got mussels, they have shrimp, they have so many different crabs. Oh, my eye again. <laughs> this is fun though. I mean, for me, this is an experience, right? Come here with a few friends, everybody does this. Wow, and all the seafood in the bottom is super hot. Mmm. Even though it looked like a crazy amount of food, it wasn't so bad. And right here, we have a sausage. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Oh, that Cajun sausage. Oh, with that spice. The spice level's great. It's on fire. Mm -hmm. It's not a medium, it's on fire. Yeah, so it is on fire. It's not the medium. They went super spiced, but you know what? To be honest, it's not the craziest spice I've ever had, which is good. I, I don't like it the next day. When you eat too much spice, the next day your stomach's killing you, you know? Mmm. Let's go in here into all of these delicious little mussels. Well, and you also have this guy. It's like drenched. Mmm. Oh, wow. Oh, spicy. Mmm. Buttery, spicy. I can eat this whole thing. I'm limiting myself. I want to be careful here. Oh, but the shrimp. I guess they put like a dozen shrimp in here, right? Yeah. At least, because. There's so many, so it's one lobster tail. You have the stone crabs, you have four different claws, right? And then, a mix of carrots. Here we have potato. Mm. Sorry, I'm just, I'm like being a pig right now. <laughs> There's no other way to eat this. But I actually like it even with my hands, it's fun. Mm. Yeah, I'm not leaving this delicious sausage. They gave me two great pieces. All right, so this is how you open the shrimp. Pull it out, rip off all the legs. Yeah, you never want to eat this shell from this bottom feeder. <laughs> and look at that shrimp. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. But I haven't even touched this crap. But you really can't open it like that, right? You need the utensil. Let's go in, break, and in here, it's got to try to pull out that it's like that. Mm-hmm. There's so much. To be honest, I'm just gonna go in here and start grabbing all the tiny clams, right? Forever. Mmm. Amazing food. I actually think mixing the fried rice with some of this sauce is gonna be awesome. Oh, I'll probably do that later. Alligator bites, delicious. The soft shell crab, incredible. If you like po'boys, you will love that. It's so good. And in terms of uh, like crawfish boil or let's say seafood boil, this is one of my favorites ever. I've done it a few times, done in Louisiana, but this is actually really interesting. Uh, the combination, the spice level. Again, you don't have to go to the crazy fire that I did, but I enjoy it. And then just diving in and you know, you know, trying to get your food. It was a fun experience. It's different, and I've eaten a lot in India, so even with my hands, I'm used to it. Not with gloves, but in India it's just like straight. You don't need it. Uh, same thing in China, right? China is the same thing. This is an awesome experience if you want to eat at the Cajun Bowl. There's three locations in South Florida. One in Plantation, one on Flagler, and then this one in Brickell. This one's bigger, the one in Flagler is smaller, uh, but I suggest coming here, especially if you're here like on a, you know, on a weekend. You can have some drinks at the bar, come enjoy with friends. Mmm. Non-stop seafood, never ending, and their menu is huge. Well guys, I hope you love this video. 
If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe my channel for more awesome travel content and eat at Cajun Bowl. Mmm. I'm just I'm digging for gold here. Look at this. Oh wow. This is huge. I can't even believe this. Oh, these jumbo shrimp are the best. Oh, spice level so good. I'm gonna start. 